Hi there, this is Mr. Tremaine with Geometry. We are in the chapter of Transformations, and today's topic is Rotations. So the objective is that you guys, the students, will be able to use rigid motions to rotate points and describe the effects of these rotations. All right, now there's several different examples that we see rotation in life, right? If we want to move an object um, around a point, okay, an example would be like the ceiling fan, right? We want to use rotation during the manufacturing of that ceiling fan to make sure that the fan is balanced, okay, and it has that nice designer look, right? We don't want an awkward gap between our fans, okay, because that's when that, that rotating of that fan kind of sounds weird, All right? So today we are talking about rotating. Now, these says rotate points that are not the origin, okay? We're actually going to do something different today. We're only going to do the origin, all right? So this portion here, don't necessarily consider Okay, but what is important is rotation on the coordinate plane about the origin, this part down here. So this is very important. Keep a note to this. So rotation on the coordinate plane about the origin. So when I am taking an object on the coordinate plane, like so, here's my coordinate plane. We'll just say, hey, this is my object. And I'm rotating it about the origin, which once again is right here. These are your rules. That for your coordinates, okay, if it's 90 or 270, notice that your X and Y's trade places. Notice that your X and your Y's trade places. And this is a, sorry, I should have emphasized this. This is a counterclockwise. Rotation. This is a counterclockwise rotation. Sorry, that was written very poorly. I'll write that a little more clear for you. This is a counter clockwise rotation. Okay, so if I, for instance, if I had the point two one in a counterclockwise rotation, it would become negative one two. If it was ninety degrees, if it was one hundred eighty degrees, two one would become negative two negative one. Okay, where my X and my Y stay in place. Okay, and then if it's 270 degrees counterclockwise for 2, 1, all right, once again, your two values flip. So it's going to be 1, 2, but now my second one is negative. Okay, so that will be your rules. So just review 90 to rotation counterclockwise. Negative one, two. 180 degrees, they stay in place, and they would just both be negative. 270 rotation, they alternate, and now your y value should be, I guess not necessarily always negative, it could be opposite. Okay, we'll, we'll change that terminology to opposite, all right? And what I mean by that is this. When I say opposite, okay, so we just did two, one. Well, let's say it's um, negative three, two. Say those are my points. Okay, so for the first one, right, flip your values around. So 2, negative 3. But now, right, we take the opposite of the first one. So that 2 would become negative 2. And it still stays as negative 3. Now for the next one, right, we just take the opposite of both. So instead of negative 3, it's positive 3. Instead of positive 2, it's negative 2. Okay, we take the opposite sign. And then the next one, sorry, hold on. Put these arrows here so you can tell. Once again, you flip the 2. So you have 2, negative 3. And now we take the opposite of our second coordinate. So now that becomes positive 3. All right, so that's how we're going to do our coordinates here. All righty. Let's look at some examples. So we're going to rotate the following figures with the given vertices about the origin counterclockwise. Okay, so once again, origin here, this is the point we're rotating about. All right, so my figure. Well, we have 0, 0, which is right here, and that's R. We have S, which is 3, 1. We have 2, 4, which is T. So here's my figure. Doesn't want to create my triangle for me. There we go. Here's my figure. 
Now we're rotating about the origin 90 degrees. So now remember with 90 degrees. If you forget your rule, you can always look back. Okay, x, y, whoops. Remember they flip. And the first one's opposite, right? If you look back to your rule, they flip. First one's opposite, 90 degrees counterclockwise, meaning we are going 90 degrees. So, right, if we broke this up into sections, this would be 0, 90, 180, 270. Okay, we're just thinking a circle, right? 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. So we said 190, so we're thinking it's somewhere over here, right? And counterclockwise, clockwise would go this way counterclockwise would go this way. So let's do our first point. So if we're going to do R, which is 0, 0, obviously that would become 0, 0 for R prime, right? Nothing would change. So R prime is still 0, 0. Boom. There's R prime. Now for S, we have 3, 1. So what would change? Well, once again, they trade places, and the first one is opposite. So 1, 3, and I take the opposite of my first one. So that's negative 1, 3. Should have wrote that in blue for you. Sorry. Let me write this other one down first. Oops. Sorry, my Apple Pencil is glitching out here for a second. Give me a couple seconds here. See if I can get connected. Okay, there we go. Okay. So then, all right, S. I'm gonna color coordinate that for you so you guys can see the points. All right, so S prime then, right? They flip, and the first one is opposite. So negative one, one, two, three. That would be S prime. And then T prime. Once again, they flip, and the first one is opposite. So therefore, negative 4, 2. There's T prime. So therefore, after a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, that would be my new shape. Okay, any questions there? I suggest always writing your rule down first. Okay. Yeah, that will help you if you write your rule down first. I also have a cheat sheet post in Schoology for you guys that want to look at that. Okay, now next one. Rotated 180 degrees. So let's plot our figure. 0, 0 is A. Negative 4, 2 is B. Negative 1, 4 is C. So... Really bad with triangles today, I guess. So there's my triangle. Okay, so now once again, if it's 180 degrees, if we have x, y, remember all that happens is we just take the opposite of those points, of those coordinates. They stay where they're at, and we just take the opposite. So here's my rule. Okay, now let's check out all of our coordinates. We had a, which is 0, 0. B, which is negative 4, 2, and C, which is negative 1, 4. So now once again, when I'm rotating 180 degrees, your coordinates stay the same, but now they're just the opposite. So A prime would still just be 0, 0. There's A prime. Actually, we're going to put that up here. B prime. Now it should be the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4. Opposite of 2, which is negative 2. So 4, negative 2. That's B prime. And then C prime, opposite of your x, which is 1. Opposite of your y, which is negative 4. So that's C prime. So there would be my rotated triangle. If it ever wants to do my triangle for me, I'm not having much luck today. Okay, that would be your rotated triangle, right? Where I take this point and it goes 180 degrees. I take this point and it goes 180 degrees. I take this point, obviously it's at the center, so it just stays there. 
Okay. Very good. Now, let's do this triangle. And we're going to rotate 270 degrees about the origin. So here's your rule, right? 270 degrees counterclockwise. If I have x, y, that should become, once again, you flip them, the opposite. Or you flip them, and then the second one is now the opposite, not the first one. Okay? If I take one turn, 90 degrees, the first one is the opposite. If I take a full turn, both are opposite. If I take three turns, the second one is opposite. Okay, that's kind of how I remember it. So once again, right, here's your rule, 270 degrees clockwise. Here's your rule. Okay, so A looks like it's 3, 4. B looks like it is 4, 2. C looks like it's 1, 3. Okay, so now if we're going to rotate it once again for A prime, you flip the coordinates, so 4, and take the opposite of the second, negative 3. 4, negative 3. So this would be A prime. Then for B prime, once again you flip them, so 2, opposite of the second, negative 4. 1, 2, negative 4, that's B prime. And then C prime, flip them, 3, Opposite of the second, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So there's your figure. Okay, once again, if it's 270, we just flip our coordinates and take the opposite of the second. And once again, I have this cheat sheet posted in Schoology, so if you guys do forget, all your rules are there, but all your rules are also right here in the notes as well. Okay? Very good. Now, what I want you guys to do is pause the video and try these two on your own. Sorry, this figure got a little messed up. I don't know why that happened. Okay, but it should look like this, obviously. With no little piece right here. Okay, and these guys should be happy. They should be connected right there. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, try these two. Okay, then we'll go from there. All right, so you pause the video and you try these two. So let's talk through them. You rule 180 degrees clockwise. Now, if I go clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't make a difference. Okay? It doesn't make a difference. We'll actually talk about clockwise at the end here and counterclockwise. I'll go through both of those rules. Okay? But clockwise or counterclockwise, 180. If I have x, y, it's just the opposite of those two. It's just the opposite. So there's your rule. Right? We're just taking the opposite. So we know a... That's not what I wanted. We know A is negative 5, 2. B is negative 1, 0. And C is 0, 3. So therefore, as I rotate it 180 degrees, A prime would then become, you. F do I need to trade places? No, it's just the opposite of both. So it's 5, negative 2. A prime. B prime, opposite of both. 1, 0. There's B prime. C prime, opposite of both. 0, negative 3. 0, negative 3. C prime. So your figure should look like this. Boom. That's after 180 degree rotation. Good. The last one here, we're rotating this one 9 degrees counterclockwise. So 9 degrees counterclockwise, right? That should be this way. And that's about the origin. So 90 degrees. Once again, if I have x, y, you flip the coordinates and opposite the first one. Flip the coordinates, opposite the first one. That's your rule. Flip the coordinates, opposite the first one. So take a look at this, right? A, which is negative 2, negative 4. B, which is 2, negative 2. And C, which is 1, 2. A prime. Once again, you flip them. 
take the opposite of the first one. So flip it, I would get negative 4. Opposite that, so here we go, we'll flip them. We get negative 4, negative 2. Then I take the opposite of the first one, so it's just going to be 4. Then I go B prime. You flip them, negative 2, 2. Take the opposite of the first one, so just 2. C prime, flip them. Take the opposite of the first one, so negative 2. So let's plot these points. 4, negative 2 is A prime. 2, 2 is B prime. C prime is negative 2. 1, C prime. So then my figure should look something like this. After I rotate 180 degrees about the origin, this is what my shape looks like now. Okay, now I'm going to add a page. Just talk over the rules again. Okay, so just to clarify, right? We have two ways that's counterclockwise is the one we talked about. So for counterclockwise, right? We said 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Whoops. 180 degrees and 270 degrees. So if we were given those coordinates, x, y, okay, if we were given those coordinates, x, y, how did they change? Well, we know 90, right? We alternate, so now it's y, x, and take the opposite of the first. For 180, they stay the same, but I just take the opposite of both. And for 270, I alternate them. And I take the opposite of the second one. Okay. So now, let's just say I did clockwise. Okay, let's just say I did clockwise. What do you guys think would change? What do we think would change? So in other words, we're just going the other direction. So they're actually going to be the same thing, except the one we have here with 270, that's just going to go with 90. 180, still the same. Now 90 would be the one for 270. So that would be the difference if you're going counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay, so obviously counterclockwise would be going this way. Okay, now if I look at clockwise, right, we're thinking it's just the opposite way. Okay, so it's the same thing if I go up as the other one if you go down. Okay, I have a worksheet posted for you guys that you guys can do. Okay, we'll actually be doing this in class. Okay, um, so if you don't, if you're not in class for this, okay, I will get you that worksheet and I will send it out to you. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay, other than that, this is Mr. Tremaine with Transformations. Today we talked about rotations. Mr. Tremaine, signing off.